China has recently made headlines as being the first to land a probe on the dark side of the moon. The spacecraft has taken photos of the moon's far side before, but no lander has ever touched down there. This venture could prove that China is going to be a leading power in space exploration alongside the US and Russia. China is now the first nation to land on the side of the moon facing away from Earth. On board the Cheng 4 there is a robotic rover. Its job will be to explore the terrain for future missions. This mission was no easy task. Experts working on the mission have said that one of the issues they had was communication with the Earth. This is because no one had been sent to this part of the moon before, so this was all new territory. Interestingly, during the mission the rovers were able to capture some interesting images and one that was sent back allegedly showed a strange anomaly in the background that people couldn't explain. The photograph shows the moon's terrain. However, in the background people said you can see what looks like a large disc. Once this reached UFO groups, people started to speculate about what this object was, with some saying that it looked like a mound, while others said it resembles the iconic disc UFO. The idea of UFOs being seen on the moon is not anything new. This idea has been shared for years, with people saying that even astronauts have talked about this, saying that while walking on the moon they could see strange objects flying around them. In fact, some astronauts even came forward and detailed their encounters, saying that whatever these crafts were, it was like they was keeping a close eye on them all the time they was on the moon. It's for this reason that when these types of images come to light, some suggest that it could be the real deal. One user said the following, One of the most common places to see unidentified crafts is actually that of our moon. Every year hundreds of videos are taken that show strange crafts around our moon. What's great about this image though is that we rarely see things on the actual surface. For me, I think this is one of the more credible photographs we have of UFOs being present on the moon. End quote. Others carried on from this and said that perhaps those monitoring the images didn't realise anything had been captured. There's others though who have gone on to say they think the image just shows a natural formation, or that it could be a case of pareidolia. This is when our minds are tricked into thinking that something is there when it isn't. UFO believers have said though this is only used to discredit those who find these types of anomalies, and say that the image provided is very clear and definitely shows something resting on the moon. In recent years there has been a special interest in the dark side of the moon. This popular term refers to the fact that the same physical half of the moon is always facing Earth, which in turn means that there's a dark side. This side however has been at the centre of many claims most of which include that there's either bases or strange things going on there. One idea is that on this side of the moon humans have managed to build large outposts, and one of the reasons they did this is because this part of the moon is always facing away from Earth, meaning they could carry out whatever they wanted without getting caught. There's others who have speculated that governments didn't want to go to the dark side of the moon, and this is because they may have been warned not to go there. As interesting as these claims are, at this moment in time they're just theories. But UFO researchers have said that with these types of images it helps to back up their claims that something strange is happening on the dark side of the moon. NASA have recently come forward and spoken out about these strange crafts seen in and around the moon. They said the following. Most commonly UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches and debris. End quote. Another NASA official said the following. The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be easily explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of the cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. End quote. 
One of the most recent announcements to come from the mission was that another Chinese rover had discovered a strange gel-like substance. At the time, it wasn't known what the gel was, causing various people to put forward their theories. However, it's now been announced by scientists that they figured out what the substance was. It turned out that the gel comes from the many rocks that can be found on the surface. Scientists went on to say that this gel-like substance was likely created when rocks melted together. This could have happened when a meteorite struck the surface of the moon, causing a massive amount of heat to melt the surrounding rocks. The strange gel was discovered back in July of 2019. Chinese officials stated that this find was strange, as you don't normally find something like this on the moon. Photographs soon started to make the rounds which showed a part of the moon that looked glossy. Scientists then said that after more detailed photographs were sent back, they backed up their theory that this substance was created by immense heat. This research was published in the Earth and Planetary Science Letters. It seems that China isn't stopping anytime soon. They announced that by 2030 the first Chinese astronauts will be setting foot on the moon. This is only the beginning for the Chinese space program, as they are planning to build their own space station by 2022. So what do you guys make of this interesting photograph? Do you think it shows an unidentified flying object resting on the lunar surface? Or do you think this is a case of pareidolia? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.